What's up, good people? Show and tell. What the hell? ATL. It's your boy back in effect of Gentleman Jack right here doing some toy reviews and a little bit of wrestling talk. Uh, this is my second attempt at making a video because my last video kind of messed up on me. Um, I um, I don't know. I don't know. I, was, I, I think I didn't have enough space on my phone. But um, I, I figured I'd give this, this making a couple video things uh, another try. And I'm going to get straight to it because I took a lot of time um, uh, running my mouth on the, on the, on the last video. So, uh, and the video ran out. So, I'm, I want to get more, more into it. Um, a little bit of tour review, a little bit of wrestling talk. Um, I just randomly pulled out some of my um, recent gets, um, some of my uh, more favorite gets too. When you're talking about uh, wrestling, Hulk Hogan, um, science fiction movies with Godzilla. I've always been a fan of Godzilla, and um, I've always been a huge fan of Jordan. And anybody know me personally, if you know me personally, you know I like all three of these things. So I just decided to make a kind of like a video collage and just put all three of them in in a quick video. It's not going to be a long video. Um, it's just something to, to kind of get the, the, the engine back running again on my channel and, and start posting a little bit more. Because it's not like I don't have anything to post, people. I have, like, I, I you know, I say getting gets, as I like to say. Um, I don't mind, um, going out and, or, or purchasing online stuff I like as far as, uh, my collection goes. So, you know, I like to collect and, uh, it's fun to do it and why not show it off? Now I am a men on car collector, as you can see with this Hulk Hogan right here. Um, I'm not going to open this guy up. It's a, uh, uh, WrestleMania basic Hulk Hogan. Uh, some of you may have it, or some of you, I don't think it's hit stores yet. Um, I'm sure a lot of you maybe have uh, gotten it off of Ringside Collectibles. It's his WrestleMania 2 look. Now, they have made basics before of Hogan. And the one that I can think of off top is um, the, um, one of the last ones that came out before... He lost the uh, Mattel deal when, the, you know, he got in trouble and they, they took his Mattel deal, deal away and took his Legends contract away in WWE. Uh, it was a Hulk Rules uh, shirt uh, similar to this one with the, the red and yellow. The only thing, it didn't come with the bandana, but it had like the little inserts in the head that looks annoying if you take the bandana out and can see it. Uh, the good thing about this one, it actually did come with the bandana. Uh, this is this is uh, really similar to the the uh, defining moments WrestleMania three Hulk Hogan because that would be like a year later. He and he basically was rocking the same look. I mean, to me, when I think of Hulk Hogan, I think of this Hulk Hogan. I mean, NWO Hulk Hogan definitely too. I mean, that's a classic Hulk Hogan look and everything. But um, this Hogan '86, '87, this was this is prime Hulk Hogan right here. So you got a really cool look on the picture. You got the WWE uh, logo at the top. You got the uh, the the WrestleMania Texas logo, the the this year's WrestleMania logo. And you basically got classic Hogan, man. You got the white boots. The only thing about this figure I will say that they they screwed up on was basically they didn't make the bottom of the boots white. I don't like what well, you know. I mean, I you know, obviously if you are the type of painter that uh, I mean, the type of <laughs> collector that uh, take your uh, figures out of the package and you do a little painting like a lot of collectors do. That's no problem. I don't do that because, again, I don't take my figures out of the package. But this Hogan is dope. That is a nice look. Um, I recently, I also have the um, uh, Survivor Series Hulk Hogan. 
uh, that came out, uh, Mattel, that, again, that's hit stores, but if you can find it, because I've seen it, uh, I've, well, I haven't seen it in stores, but I, I've seen the, um, what's my man name, um, Keith Lee, I've seen the Keith Lee figure that came out in the same set, I've seen him at a Target, but the Hogan was already gone, I mean, I've got to the point now where if I see certain figures that I know I'm going to want and I'm just like, you know, I'll buy it at retail. Like, I'll probably buy the. I bought two of these on Ringside Collectibles, but if I see it at retail, I'll probably buy another one. So, I'm like, I'll just order it. And if I just want another one bad enough, I'll get another one. But... The thing is, is that you don't always see these things at retail. So, it's a really cool figure. Next, I'm going to go with this 1964 Godzilla. Godzilla is, is another love of mine. I've probably been a Godzilla fan probably since I was five years old. I've been a Hulk Hogan fan probably since I was maybe seven or eight, maybe. But I've been a Godzilla fan since I was like five years old. I just remember Godzilla. I mean, early remember early memories of watching old Godzilla movies on TBS here in Atlanta. And this is a Showa Godzilla, which is the Godzilla I grew up on, which was the Godzilla you see uh, more. They would, yeah, I mean, we grew up on Showa Godzilla movies. That's the ones they were showing like the eighties. And it wasn't until the 90s you had the Heisei movies, Heisei movies, uh, which is a, a classic Godzilla also. But for me, the Shore Godzilla always is my favorite because that's the first movies I saw. And this particular one is made by Giga Brain. <clears throat> and it's a cool figure. Uh, I, I wanted it because, of course, it's, dawn, it's dawning the red and black. And red and black... It are my favorite colors. And you got the mostly black Godzilla with the silver uh, dorsal plates with the hints of red in it. Just a really cool figure. I mean, it looks just like the movie. And they, they even did like the underside of the, the tail and the feet smooth just like the movies. And this is my first Giga Brain figure. I have a lot of um, Bandai Godzilla figures, and um, I, I even have Marmet and a couple of other brands. But Giga Brain, this is my first one, and I have to say this: I have a lot of different uh, 1964 Godzilla models, but this one is very movie accurate. The only thing is not movie accurate is the custom paint job, but the custom paint job is where I bought it. I mean, look at that. That red and black and those yellow eyes. Ah! Got to call you back, homie. Got home more my homeboys called me while I'm making this video, but I'm about to get ready to wrap it up in a minute. But that is a very nice Godzilla. Very nice. Look at those scales. Nice long tail. Now this right here I didn't have to open because I bought it out of the bag. Certain Godzilla figures it's like okay if you can catch it out of the bag you might as well buy it because these things are very expensive. Cause these, It's not like you can go and buy these at Walmart. You have to always buy these from overseas. But the dealer I've been buying, you know, buying my Godzilla from, a uh, shout out to, uh, oh, what's my man, uh, right here in Georgia too. I to, he, he ships it right here in Georgia. Uh, oh, I feel bad. Showcase, Daikaju Showcase, Daikaju Showcase, I think that's, I order a lot of Godzilla figures from him. I got a new 91 that's on the way, so that's really cool Godzilla figure. 1964 Godzilla, Showa Godzilla. Nice. Show and tell what the hell. Let me speed this up. I don't want you guys to go to sleep. But I figure if you're watching this, then you're interested in wrestling, so you probably ain't going to go to sleep. I mean, if you're watching this and you 
you know me and you watching my videos because you're trying to show me some love, I appreciate that too. So, you know, but I know your ass about to fall asleep. But collectors, they know what it is. And this right here is the ish. This is the real deal right here, man. I have a KO figure of this figure, but I had to order a second one because sad enough, the first figure I ordered of this figure never showed up. There's a UP, no, I'm sorry, not UPS, but there's a FedEx guy out there with this shit sitting on his shelf and he knew it was supposed to come to my house, but I, I, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to suck it up and I'm going to order another one. This is top of the line Michael Jordan figure right here, inner bay figure. Now this is the one, what one point nine or one 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 ninth? I guess they would say one ninth size figure. And the other figures are usually like bigger. They're bigger than this, so this is a, more of a smaller version, which I like a smaller version. And to be honest, the other ones I just I couldn't afford. I couldn't do the price that they're trying to ask for. But anyway, we had the eleven minute mark. Check it out. Check out the glorious box. I know I've seen Inner Bay um, uh, reviews before, so you know you guys know what the box looked like. It's pretty, very pretty. Now, interestingly enough, a lot of the reviews I've seen, maybe because I've got one of the newer, newer editions. I don't know. They usually have a hologram right here. So I'm like, what the hell is my hologram? But the newer ones, I think, they put the hologram on the back. So I think that's what it is. That's an official Inner Bay hologram. And you got the Motion Masterpiece. This is Series 2. And if anybody knows what was in Series 1, tell me. Because I thought this was the first um, one one ninth figures that they was made that they made as far as Michael Jordan, Dennis Rodman, and um, Scotty Pippen. Scotty hating on Mike right now. I'm dating this video, but that's who he is right now. It's funny. Um, but you got Michael Jordan on this side. You got the artistic uh, printed up Michael Jordan photo right there, which is so dope. And you got the the uh, the upper deck. Logo right here, also NBA logo. Like I said, Inner Bay down here. You guys have seen it. But have you seen the figure, though? Have you seen the figure? Yeah, most of you have. Most of you have. I can't even open the box. See, you got that, you got that magnet box and it's holding it together so tight. Now, I hope a lot of you have seen this figure because the truth is, like I said, I'm a men on car collector. And I'm just not taking, I'm not taking my figure out. I'm trying to, hold on, without knocking some crap over, I'm trying to put this bad boy on camera so you can really get a good look at him. This is a very dope figure, man. And again, I, I know I'm not doing this all the way justice. Actually, there are other people on here that it's going to have a, a lot better review of this, but this is show and tell. What the hell, ATL from your boy, Gentleman Jack. So, and it's a quick review, so I'm just kind of showing you three of my newest gets. See how this back box so big? Three of my newest gets. This is top of the line right here, man. This is, I mean, you, when you take this thing out of here, man, the the the, the how this the skin. I don't know if I have a action figure with skin that look is real his skin his chocolate skin look like my chocolate skin like real like some real you know real situation going on i know i'm halfway off the camera but the toy is the most important thing that's going on right now but this is a very very man and you know maybe one day if i take it out a little bit more um i can show you guys you know up close and personal if you just want to hear me talk about it opposed to seeing a lot of other uh, reviews on this figure um but yeah this is this is a doozy right here i had to have this one in my collection i mean i'm a i'm a jordan head so a guy that collects fig action figures not to have the ultimate jordan action figure i just couldn't miss it man i, I couldn't miss it so 
I hope that FedEx guy is enjoying that figure. Because I'm enjoying mine. Fortunately, I had to purchase his for him or, or for her. But, you know, you lose some and you win some. But anyway, I appreciate you guys checking back in with me. There will be more videos. This is just... It's one of many that's going to come, man, because I got a whole lot of stuff I can show you guys. Show and tell. What the hell. ATL. Might as well. Just show you guys my stuff, man. And, um, yeah. Check next time.